NASCAR Nationwide Series at Nashville Super Speedway. Presented by Shell. Try new Shell nitrogen and rich gasolines today. And in part by Toyota. Moving forward. And we just went under our caution for the eighth time here for debris over in turn three. Kenny Hendrick will get the uh, lucky dog pass and get back on the lead lap for the second time today. That's what they're looking at. Uh, might possibly be some other pieces. That's one that we've found that they'll be going out to chase down. So far, Kyle Busch, though, uh, out in front here with teammate Joey Logano right behind. Brad Keselowski, Kelly Byers, and Mike Bliss round out your top five at this moment. And uh, we, we mentioned the fact that the 47 car, obviously uh, Michael McDowell's team made that miscalculation. Well, here they get some caution laps. Yeah, but they'll probably make a pit stop with these leaders. I'm not sure that they can give up those laps on the tires and make it work at this point. There's uh, 40 laps to go. Yeah. So it may not uh, work that way. Might just come down with these leaders. Yeah, and we are in the window for the last pit stop for everybody else that is up front. So uh, they'll definitely be able to go the distance. So, Jamie, it looks like uh, everybody is coming your way. So you're up first. And that includes our race leader, Kyle Busch. He's coming in to get his last set of tires. Remember, they're scuffs. They're going to put a little tape on the grill for some speed. Air pressure adjustments were made for the 18 car. Dave. Teammate Joey Logano, I'm tight behind all race cars, not just my teammates. So I need that track bar to be put up at least a half a round to make my car a little bit looser, easier to turn. He'll make that change and four tires with Sunoco fuel. Meanwhile, up at the front, this is a huge reset for Carl Edwards. He comes in seventh. Can they pick him up and he spots the pressure on to get all the lug, nut tights, the lug nuts tight this time, but also to speedily get him through this pit stop. He'll put on four fresh tires. They'll make a wedge adjustment to try to make that car a little bit freer as well. Marty. And take a look. Michael McDowell did come in. It looks like they took maybe just fuel or uh, possibly two tires. We'll double check on that. Kyle Busch comes out uh, in second behind him. And there you see where Carl Edwards comes out seventh. So as uh, we get ready to head for commercial break, we'll uh, go over the wall. Jack Reese. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get you some, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good right side, good right side, let's go. Let's have a good stop over here, let's go. Get him on, get him on, get him on. Go, 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 yeah! Good job, buddy. All right, we're back here at the Nashville Super Speedway with the money stop now in hand and uh, some big changes. Michael McDowell is going to be your race leader. Now, remember, he stopped earlier. They miscalculated. We have checked with the pit crew, and yes, they took fuel only. So he is going to be out front, but then there's Kyle Busch right behind him, Brad Keselowski, and Joey Logano has dropped to fourth as a result of this last round of pit stops with David Reagan fifth. Where's Carl Edwards in this mix? He right now is shown in eighth position. Gosh, I think this is the time of the race where everything gets crazy. <laughs> Everybody gets <laughs> anxious. Cautions breed cautions, and I can just feel it right now that these cats feel like they're running out of time. Something's going to happen here. Well, if it is going to get crazy, why don't we uh, go full throttle for the first time today as they come out of turn four? Keep an eye on McDowell. He's on the uh, harder, more Stay worn ready. tires than the guys behind him. Here we go. Almost ready. Go. Green flag, green flag, green flag. Looks good all the way up. Clear, clear. Two lanes down. Single file. Clear to low. Still there. Clear to the bottom. Clear to low right now. You're fine. Got three or four right now. Still there. Clear. Clear low. Clear low. 24. Nine's in your mirror. Keep coming. Clear low. Clear. Outside of three wide, zero nine, slow down there. Inside, 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 inside air, they're all way above and out back. Well, Michael McDowell is going to lead his first lap ever in the Nationwide Series with 36 to go, and so far he's holding on, but he's got Kyle Busch, Brad Keselowski, Joey Logano, and David Reagan trying to breathe down his neck. Because Logano inside Keselowski. 
Got that it past the third. Yes, sir. And uh, here comes Joey. Remember, they have been very strong on these restarts compared to that 88 car. They look strong. That 47 car got going good on those tires. Yeah, I wouldn't believe that either. I'm going to have said that guy better put two helmets on because those old tires, he's going to get run over. But boy, these guys are not hooked up too good early. It's so cool out here. This tire's pretty hard. You're seeing a lot of slipping and sliding. And that's probably played into McDowell's hands right there. And you got to hand it to Gene Need. He made this call with, with Michael McDowell, and it's working out great so far. Take a look back at sixth place, guys. Carl Edwards, there he is, as he has uh, worked his way back up two spots since the start of this last run. He's just now inside the top five, and he's taking that point lead back as they run. Take a look. It's now 18 markers between Carl and Kyle. As it stands right now, we still have 33 laps to go. Big question is, can Carl fight his way back to the front of this thing and make it a three-car race again? Hey, Kyle Busch can't do anything with Michael McDowell right <laughs> yeah. now. Well, take a look at the laps. I mean, McDowell ran a 30.12, a 30.12, and Kyle ran a 30.15 last lap. I'm telling you what, this is a big surprise to me. I had no idea that 47 would be that good on those old tires. And, hey, if he's made it three or four laps like he's made it now, that was definitely the right call because he's not losing nothing at all. Well, the way the track is rubbered in and uh, they're not wearing like they were to start, I mean, that's just what's changed enough that makes makes this decision work. Got a smoker here. Oh, it's Kenny Hendrick. Hendrick is, uh, boy, he came close to the wall there but uh, he's got big problems and blowing up in front of him. yeah you got to wonder if he's putting oil on the racetrack right yep. now the caution is not out I mean they're still under green I guess the first one to know will be Michael McDowell when he gets down there yeah here we go hold on <laughs> so far so good and again McDowell looking very strong Four one hundredths of a second separate two, but here comes Kyle coming off at two. Kyle gets a better dig, and he is heading into the race lead as they go into turn number three. Can he make it stick? The answer is going to be yes. He's got him coming out of four. But here comes Howard McDowell back. <laughs> here he wow, goes. this is amazing. McDowell. Oh, and a little bump from Kyle saying, you better give me a little more room, son. And McDowell says, I'll have none of that. Thank you. And Joey Logano right behind. This could get real dicey. Finally, they clear. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure McDowell's Kyle. done here. Hey, and look at Kyle wave and say, thank you. Good job, buddy. Keep digging. <laughs> well, all three cars really putting on a show for us here with 30 laps to go. And that allowed Keselowski to get back into the mix as well. So now we've got four cars. Yeah, I had a little contact, though, with that 18 car and the 47. It makes me wonder, did uh, maybe one of those fenders get bent in on Kyle, Kyle Busch's car? Well, it could have, because it looks like the left rear quarter panel, left side of the 47 car, McDowell, is caved in a little bit right behind the 7. See that hey, car pulled yep. out the bottom? You're right, and Rusty, not, it is. A little bit. A little not, bit. Nothing's going to affect him, I don't believe. Well, it's affected him enough that he's back to fourth, and meanwhile, it is back to uh, the Joe Gibbs Racing Show. As it is Kyle Busch and Joey Logano back in a spot. As take a look at this battle going on. That is Stenhouse and Stephen Wallace, and that is for position. And Wallace takes over 13th, bumping Stenhouse back to 14th. So while we had the action going on up front, we've got these guys going after. That's Eric McClure. He's lapped traffic at uh, the 66 is clearing. And he's opened up uh, quite a bit of room now over the 16 car. So if you're just joining us here at the top of the hour, we welcome you to the Nashville 300. Glad that you're with us because it has been in a very interesting race. 27 laps to go. We've had five different leaders, 18 lead changes, a total of eight cautions. As look at Carl Edwards, he got himself into a bit of a bind, and Carl has fought his way back after a bad pit stop. He is now into the top five, trying to get his way back into this battle for the lead. He has led a total of 45 laps, but that was much earlier in the race. It has been basically Kyle Busch and Joey Logano swapping the lead up front. 